Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, again, I'm, I know I say the same thing on every video, but I get excited easily. What can I say? Especially when it comes to a new leather jacket. Now, you guys have to be thinking, I, I need my head examined, right? Because honestly, like a lot of people have like one jacket, a couple watches. Like I am obsessive, right? And so I love to accessorize. And I really, what, what are the, if you guys don't know me now, what are some of the things that I absolutely love to have multiple of, right? Cologne. It's always, you can always, have, you can always use another bottle of cologne. I think I have over 150, 160. <clears throat> I don't even know if I include samples. I have a lot. And they all get worn, right? Different different seasons, different times, different occasions, you know? Um, watches, right? And leather jackets. I love being able to match those three things up. I mean, honestly, I can have one pair of jeans, a black t-shirt, and a uh, black v-neck t-shirt, and uh, boots, jacket, and watch and cologne. That, that's like it, right? I mean, really, you can change up an outfit uh, so easily with just that, that, those things, right? Uh, so, and let's face it, guys. You know, I've done a videos now on leather jackets on this channel. I don't know how many I've done. I have to double check because I have over 35 leather jackets, I, I think. And, you know, I never get sick of getting a new one. I absolutely love having a new leather jacket. And I've always liked leather jackets over the years. It's really weird because I used to have, like, you know, back in the Wilson leather days, I think just because, you know, when you're younger, things are more expensive. And I think that really jackets were, are, you know, after, like, Wilson closed down, you can get jackets for $99 to $200 at Wilson's. And we're going back 20 years here. And, you know, as my style kind of changed, where I used to always wear the three-quarter inch length jacket, the, the Donnie Brasco style, and I still like those, they still get used, but what's happened is the styling back then, a medium really fits more like, I'd say like a large medium or a large to, in today's sizes. So things have kind of, you know how styles change, and, uh, oh, FedEx guy's here. I wonder if I got anything. God, I hope so. But styles kind of change, and you know things get slimmer, things get baggier. Um, I don't know if baggies are, you know, and then you have hip hop style, and that's always kind of maintained with the baggy styling. But we see it now. I mean, even with like you know rappers like Lil Wayne, you know, no more big baggy pants, more of the skinny jeans sagging, right? So styles always change. And one thing about leather, it really is timeless. Whether you, my leather jackets from 20 years ago are just as stylish today. I don't always wear the three quarter inch length. I'm more of the shorter waistline uh, type of jacket, but um, they all get worn. And so they are timeless. And now with the internet being as big as this and all these different sellers and things being imported, you can get killer jackets for amazing prices. Don't let, I've seen some of these YouTubers out there and I like to watch them. A lot of them are, are very large men's style channels, but style grooming channels. But remember, when guys do reviews on a lot of those products, when you become really big like that, these jackets are like four or $500. I remember Alpha Male did a, did a review of uh, him shopping for leather jackets, going into the mall, it was like a $1,200 jacket. Remember, you guys, you're, if you go into a brick and mortar store, you're paying markup, markup. And a lot of the coats coming off online are made in, in factories overseas, like everything else, right, for the most part. There are, I must say there are brands that are made here and all stuff, but guys, I have a pretty good selection, more than most. I've never met anybody with 35 leather jackets other than me, right? I'm sure there's dudes out there who collect them, I guarantee you. Guys, a lot more money, but you know, for an average dude, I got, I got quite the collection. And I have to tell you that there are differences in quality, but not enough to warrant some of the prices. And when I, when I, when I compare, give you guys an example, when I compare jackets that cost me, you know, $80 on eBay or Amazon, and then compare them to jackets that cost $300, in some cases, they're awfully close. When I compare my brand new, and if you haven't checked out Pretender Leathers, is hands down the best quality leather jacket I've ever seen with any brand in my all, all my years. Any brand, any store, I put it up against anybody. It is incredible. Buffalo leather. If you haven't looked at the Stormbringer jacket, it is off the chain. Um, I, I want to thank them again. They're awesome, but this video isn't about that. Check out their jackets. You get those right now. I don't know for how much longer, but for $400 I think about four or four and some, some change uh, from Ukraine. The only downside is they custom make the jacket. There's a turnaround time and you're ordering from Ukraine. And some of those people get a little funny at that. It's custom made and you're like, okay, what if it doesn't fit? Uh, they have amazing customer service. But uh, anyway, it, drop me an email if you need to know more after you see the video. But today, I want to talk about this off the rack, small, medium, large size uh, Amazon jacket. So this is by a company called Lavarapel. Lavarapel. Lavar, these names. Lavarapel. 
L-A-V-E-R-A-P-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. This was not sponsored like my video I did the other day on the Angel Jackets, another phenomenal company. This is an Amazon brand. And so this is a jacket that I have been eyeballing off eBay for quite some time. And I think this is the only company that has this particular jacket on Amazon. Now remember, a lot of these jackets are coming from overseas, and I can't tell you the number of times I've ordered leather jackets from Pakistan or from uh, eBay or Amazon that you think they're coming from the United States, but they're actually coming from Pakistan. And you know, it doesn't matter because you get leather, leather goods are huge over there. And a lot of these brands, you have to be careful when you see brands on Amazon or eBay that look the same, usually they are. So always shop from a place that has a good rating, has a good return policy, and of course a decent price. So <clears throat> this company right here is the first one that I've seen to carry this particular jacket. And what I love about this, and I love this, uh, is the fact that you have all this, oh man, I got a sneeze coming on. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, just can't hold back sometimes. Um, that you have all this diamond, what I call diamond printing. Uh, it's it's a quilting basically, and so I absolutely love this design aspect on a coat. Um, it's something that I've been talking with Pretender about doing and integrating with some of their other jackets. Many of my jackets have this style, uh, and I absolutely love this type. And this one was just over the top. If you like quilting, this is your jacket. You have large quilting. You have what I call like the Michelin Man style uh, stitching on the sleeves. You have the smaller diamond printing or diamond stitching. Then you have the larger quilting. Uh, it is a killer jacket, guys. And the price, this was only $140 shipped. I mean, unbelievable. And I will order from this company again. Hopefully the company sees my video and says, hey, we want to send you more because I'm super impressed with quality. The fit is fantastic. And uh, they make this in so many different colors. So let's check it out. So this is made of genuine lambskin. Um, one thing to be noted, I have ordered jackets. I like to mention this in any jacket review I do. Uh, let me go ahead and throw it on first. God, look at this badass jacket. Uh, what? One thing to be noted, right? Hey, unedited, uncut, raw, right? We like it raw. Um, one thing to be noted is that when you order coats that are coming from, you know, overseas and Pakistan, a lot of times, sometimes I have had two jackets uh, that were from eBay that they kind of have a little bit of a gamey smell. That does kind of wear off. There, and I don't mean it to dissuade anybody. Leather always has a little bit of a barnyard gamey kind of smell, but sometimes it's... Some of this is very pleasant, and other times, I'm not going to say off-putting, but it's stronger. Now, they do air out, but what I like about this company coming right from Pakistan is that there is no odor whatsoever, other than just straight-up lambskin. What you'd expect from any high-end lambskin jacket. Uh, and lambskin always tends to be a little more expensive. The difference with lambskin is that it's very thin, it's very soft. It's not as durable as your cowhide, your buffalo, your goat leather, but it's very soft, very supple, very comfortable. Um, and a lot of times now, what I've noticed is lambskin always seems to be more expensive. Uh, now it seems to be m more affordable. Uh, so this jacket is available in three different linings and how many colors? What, six or seven different colors, which I'm going to explain this to you in just a second. Um, as far as the sizing on this, now guys, let me just first show you, or let me just, I'm so excited about this, I kind of, I, I, I digress a lot here, but, um, so you can see on, on the sleeves here, you do have the zipper. Right, and then of course you have what I call the Michelin Man stitching right down the forearm. Then it goes blank, and then you have that up onto the shoulders, and then that turns right into around the armpit and on the front and back of the shoulder here. Is it the back? Yeah, uh, kind of like the smaller um, quilting, and then you have that large quilting down the center around the chest, the stomach, and then right across the back you have that awesome just just larger uh, uh, diamond diamond stitching. Uh, just a killer jacket. Now, let's talk sizing first. Let me back up a little bit so you can see what, what this looks like. Uh, let's talk sizing. So this is available in your normal sizes, extra small, small, large, medium, that kind of stuff, right? Now, I weigh about 179, 180 pounds. Um, and uh, when you buy a coat, it's uh, tougher when you buy it naturally. Uh, common sense would, would common, as you know, uh, common sense, is you're not going to get to try it on, right? You have to order it. That's why it's really important to find a place with good return policy. Now, this place does say uh, on in the fine print that they have a 30-day return policy. I don't know if that includes return shipping. A lot of times at Amazon, if it does include free return shipping, it'll say that. This is $139.99 with free shipping. Uh, you may have to pay to send it back. So that's why when you order, check out the size guide. And the thing about size guides, 
is that sometimes they're going to give you, at least with this size, they're going to give you an average on, like for instance, on what their jackets are and what a normal person might wear. These are suggestions. Everybody likes to wear something different. I like to wear, especially recently, my jackets tight. Um, I would rather them be a little uncomfortable. Now, if you didn't check out my review I did the other day on the... Uh, let me just bring this up a little bit here, guys, so you can see my face. Whether you want to or not. Um, I did a review the day on Angel Jackets, and they I ordered a small from them. They actually sent me the medium, but their mediums ran a little bit smaller. So the jacket still fit me the way I like it, but not to the point like this. This one here is a small. And for a guy 179, uh, I, I don't know what my chest measurement is. I wear 32 inch jeans. Uh, and again, it's really, it really depends on the brand. You know, you get a 32 stretchy jean or a 32 uh, solid waist jean with non-stretch, it may not fit. So it really just comes down to, you know, the manufacturer and how they size their clothing, you know. Um, and that's what's difficult about ordering online, especially with a jacket. What I can tell you is that for me, uh, for a guy who's, you know, you can see my body, I'm five foot seven and a half, about 180 pounds. And <clears throat> for me, um, you know, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm skinny, but I'm, you know, I'm not uh, super trim. I'm not ripped by any means. I, I carry fat on me. Um, I would say uh, a lot of my weight, I'm pretty proportioned. I don't have super skinny legs, but I don't have big athletic muscular legs. See, some guys are very trim on top. They may weigh 180, but they have huge legs. Uh, I'd say my legs are, are maybe a little above average um, body. I'd say about average, right? <clears throat> so... One, one thing I tend to have, I don't think I have a huge chest, but I feel like I have a larger back. So everything I put on tends to, uh, and I know some dudes, like I gotta, you know, I'm not bragging here, all right? This is strictly informational. Um, when I put on a jacket, um, it's always tight across the lats, right? Always. And again, I don't, I haven't worked out in quite some time. Um, it's just how my body's built. I have more of a V shape. Uh, which is naturally dropped 20 pounds. It's going to be more pronounced, but everything fits me tight in the back. So my biggest issue when it comes to fitting into a jacket or a shirt, uh, and generally shirts are okay. I use or small or medium. My only concern with this was I've had smalls before that are too tight. With this jacket, the small is going to fit me perfectly. This is exactly how I like a coat to fit. And I'll show you, It's this is a little bit, even for me, a little bit tight up in the armpit, but the sleeves are perfect length. Uh, I have other coats that uh, are a little bit too long. I mean, you can still get away with it, but this one fits me absolutely fantastic. And the reason why this works for me in a small is because this is their non-lined version. So they have three different versions. You get the cotton line, the, uh, let's see here, so I don't screw this up here, tell you exactly. They have the polyester line, the black cotton lining, and then they have their black cotton lining, polyester black cotton. They have three different ones here with color black cotton lining and then fiber fill lining. So they have the polyester, fiber fill, and cotton. And from what I can tell, um, definitely the polyester is the, uh, the thinnest. And on the inside, you can tell that it's just the standard polyester material. <clears throat> and I don't know, it doesn't really feel, there might be another layer of polyester on the inside here, but it's very thin. This is a, definitely a coat that you wanna wear, uh, you know, spring, fall, uh, definitely not a winter coat. Although, you know, again, everywhere, some guys wear shorts and sandals in the winter. So again, it always comes down to what you guys like, but it's nice and thin. If you go and get a small, if I were to get the small size with the cotton lining or the thicker uh, fiber fill lining, this would not fit me. So um, I would have went with the medium. So it just depends on how you like a coat to fit. Leather jackets, I would rather a jacket to fit snug. I can still zip it. Um, you know, it's, if it's nice and snug, um, it's not like uncomfortable. I'm not going to bust out the zipper. The pockets are still functional. Uh, it is a killer looking jacket. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. And like I said, guys, you'll see guys reviewing jackets, and there's several brands I'm not going to mention, but they're Instagram brands. And some of them are nice looking coats. I, uh, actually, I will mention one Boda Skins. Uh, cool looking jacket, but Boda Skins jackets, you can get ones that are comparable for like a third the price. Uh, maybe the Boda skins, I, without seeing it, maybe it's a little, a little bit nicer, but it always goes back to that argument when it comes to watches. Are you willing to pay three times as much for just slightly better? You know what I mean? And so something like this uh, is just absolutely killer. Um, so as far as colors, right? So you get this in gray, black, navy, 
like this camel color, wine, red, white, yellow, burgundy, and kind of like a cognac. Uh, and did I say brown? A brownish. So you have a lot of different options. I went the black because black is just, uh, black is the coolest. I mean, and if guys, I, like I said the other day, some guy was like, hey, got my first leather jacket, saw your video. If you haven't worn a leather jacket, you don't have to have a motorcycle. You can rock the look without the motorcycle. Um, you know, all you need is the helmet, honestly. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is not going to be the jacket that's going to protect you. This is the jacket that will give you a little wind protection if you're unaware to ride, but it's not going to give you any protection. God forbid you should fall. But it looks good. It's got the look. Uh, it got, it's got the fit. And, again, remember, if you are a guy, I would say, you know, for a guy who weighs 180 uh, who's not like bodybuilder or super athletic, um, I would say that you probably can get away with a small. Um, like my buddy, he's he's pretty trim. And he's like, I wear large. You are not a large dude. <laughs> but uh, hey, everybody wears something different. Some people like things fitted. Some people like things looser. Uh, it, it just really depends. For me, you can see how this fits me on a guy my size, my height, my weight, uh, right at the waist. I mean, ultimately, this is... Uh, of all the jackets I have, this one and maybe maybe two other ones fits me absolutely perfect. This is exactly how I like a jacket. And this is the kind of jacket that fits me so good that it's, you know, when I want to get something else, now it's to the point where, you know, when you find something that fits you so nice and so perfect, um, you want to have it in every color. So hopefully uh, Laverpel reaches out. I really hope they do. I would love to feature uh, their brand more often. There are so many cool coats out there that just give you the look. I mean, when you look at, you know, affordable outfit, this is casual, but dressy at the same time. Jeans, 17 bucks, boots, 40, jacket, 140, shirt, like 20 bucks. I mean, th I mean, that's pretty amazing. I mean, a whole outfit for, I mean, even throw a watch in there for a whole thing for under like 300 bucks. Not going to show you which watch I'm rocking today, but I mean, there's really no excuse, gentlemen, even if you're on a budget that you cannot uh, really walk out the house looking sharp and better yet feeling sharp. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help you guys. A lot of the questions I get when it comes to jackets is, you know, hey, how, you know, what size should I get? It's really difficult. All I can tell you is for my body type, five, seven and a half, hundred and say 80 pounds. You can see uh, not a six pack guy, not ripped. If I was going to be, uh, if I were to get completely lean for my whole body weight, I'd probably be about 155, 160. So I do carry a good, you know, 15, 20 pounds of fat. Again, that's an estimate, not 100% sure. Uh, legs, again, not skin tight legs. You know, you can kind of see, hopefully you can see by the video. And it's hard to tell by a video too what somebody actually looks like. Because you see a lot of these like UFC guys and they're like, they're like, that guy looks pretty big and he's like 140 pounds. I'm like, what? You know, so it's really hard to tell by a video um, without really taking measurements and knowing. If you guys do need extra help, just I'll personalize, a, you know, an email for you. If you need my help, I'm always here to help. Uh, but this will at least give you some, something to go off. Uh, again, if you're, even if you're, let's just say you're, um, you know, a taller guy. The only downside to going this small if you're really skinny is that keep in mind, like if you're taller, this is a shorter jacket. So there's not a lot of playroom when it comes to the length. This is going to start to creep up, but honestly, you could wear a jacket higher. Uh, you know, I have jackets that are in the back side, I say 27 inch length, then we go down to like three quarter inch length, is a lot longer, and then usually for my back length, I like about a 25 um, is the best, and I'm, I'm thinking this is probably 24 and a half or 25, but you can see, you know, it, it kind of covers the top portion of my butt cheeks, um, and if you're, you know, you're probably, get, a lot of guys who are going to get maybe, watch this video, maybe get one, are probably going to be a little taller. Uh, so a medium might be the best bet. But again, if you like it nice and snug, and you can see, I mean, I think for my size, a lot of guys 5'7", uh, especially if you're younger, uh, probably a small would be good because you're probably not going to have, uh, you know, the, uh, the midsection that I have um, and zipping this up. But again, you can see it's not like, I have other jackets where I have to kind of suck in to zip up. This is, is very comfortable. I mean, it fits snug, but it's not super tight. I'm not going to blow any zippers out here. But uh, anyway, just depends. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, drop me an email, drop me a comment. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, but do click the bell anytime to be notified anytime I upload a new video, which is like really about four times a week now. So uh, anyway, guys, stay tuned for more. Have a good day.